Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I thought I would share with you guys a really fantastic article that I just read. It came out a couple days ago in Forbes uh, that I saw while looking around online, and I was really impressed with this because this is something that uh, I've been talking about a lot lately, and you know, you're seeing uh, something like Forbes discussing this. This is kind of a big deal. Uh, and the, this article, I'll probably link it down in the, the comments for you guys. I try not to link stuff in descriptions uh, that YouTube doesn't necessarily approve because it's just not, not good. They sometimes don't like that. Uh, but I can probably put it in the comments somewhere. But I thought I would just kind of share it with you here in this video of my thoughts on it. Uh, and I thought it was fantastic because they, they talked to a number of people and biologists and experts. And uh, again, it's like they say right early on, uh, do you even lift? And they kind of joke about it because it's a condescending expression uh, in, in fitness forums and online. But the thing is, is it's a question that we should be asking of older adults. And that's why they put, do you even lift grandma? Um, and I think it's, it's interesting that they've got, a, again, a former powerlifter and biologist says, exercise and in particular strength training is absolutely critical for people as they age. Um, and he did a lot of research himself looking into, it says there are over 200 scientifically backed peer reviewed studies, at least 126 of which he uses evidence uh, for showing all the benefits of weightlifting for older adults. And he noted that 80% of adults are not engaging in enough physical activity, uh, what's been prescribed by doctors, and he says it is really dangerous, and, and I'll quote him here. Uh, it puts them at increased risk of serious adverse health conditions such as blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, obesity, cholesterol issues, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, cancer, depression, and death from any cause. Uh, and that's kind of the interesting take on this. is something I've been talking about. You're seeing people like uh, Ripto and the starting strength guys and barbell medicine guys and all of those have been saying this for a long time too, that there, the evidence is, is there. This isn't bro science anymore. The evidence is mounting that just walking and light exercise really doesn't get the job done for older people. And we have so many studies and so much research at this point uh, showing all of the health benefits of, of weightlifting as we get into older age. And by weightlifting, I don't mean Olympic lifting, because that, that is a term, but resistance training, getting up doing structural loading exercises and and that's a big difference you know everyone wants to even look at machines and cables and all that stuff but that's not the same thing as actually loading your body up most of the health benefits you're going to get in older age come from these big movements that you can do standing you know uh, squats deadlifts rows cleans uh, standing presses and i'm not saying the bench press and, and pull-ups and all that don't help they do a lot but the stuff that really gives older people the most bang for their buck is exercises that load the structure of the body they load your spine they load your hips uh, all of that stuff and uh, again those exercises do it best because that's the stuff that stays off the osteoporosis that's the stuff that gives you the the larger metabolic benefits through the body because guys your arms and chest are not particularly big muscles and even the bones attached to those don't account for even most of the muscle mass in your body but stuff like your back your legs uh, your whole posterior chain that's the stuff that really really makes a difference in your your overall health marker and you know as you read further into it uh, yeah, he even has a thing where they, they looked at uh, data in seniors and this is the data revealed that adults 65 years and older who strength trained twice a week, strength trained guys, notice it says strength trained, had a 46% lower mortality rate and that strength training reduces all causes of death including cancer and cardiac death. But yeah, I mean, cancer, that's one of the biggest ones, you know, uh, that, that we need to look at. When you start looking at people who died of cancer, I've lost loved ones to cancer. I promise you, most of you out there have lost a loved one to cancer. It's kind of a big deal. And, you know, everyone always says this nonsense and you hear conspiracy theories that big uh, medicine and big pharma is hiding the cures for cancer. They're hiding the cures for cancer and then people talk about cancer and they're with the same people don't want to go lift weights. They don't want to do the things that when you look at the real data, that's one of the real cures we have for cancer. Lifting weights, out of any other lifestyle factor, that seems to be one of the biggest one in reducing cancer rates statistically. I'm not saying diet doesn't help. It absolutely helps. Helps a lot. But, you know, I mean, we know that. We know that 
uh, data shows that people who lift weights get cancer at half the rate of other people. Up here, you're seeing right there, all mortality, 46% lower from lifting weights, you know, and cancer's a big chunk of that. But yeah, people who, who lift weights get cancer at 50% of the rate of people who don't. That's a big deal. I mean, that's slashing it in half. And then the same thing, what do they find? That people who get cancer, who then go through any sort of, of therapy to try to, to fight it, people who lift weights and continue to lift weights through their treatment, whether it's chemo or something else, guess what? They survive at twice the rate. They have double the survival chance if they do get it. So when you look at it from that perspective, if you cut your chances in half of getting it, and then you double your chances of surviving if you do get it, that's what, like a 75% higher chance that you will survive cancer? Is it something in that range? In other words, lifting weights alone means that you're only about, going to have about a fourth of the chance of dying of cancer as if you don't. That one lifestyle factor. I mean, that's serious stuff. That's serious uh, and again, we're, if you're looking at this, and there's links all through this uh, discussing it, discussing all of this stuff and, and links to the different stuff and some of the studies, um, and I really, really like that. And again, as, as, as he's said again, they quote him again here, uh, Rizzo, the science speaks for itself. Weightlifting has been shown in study after study to help improve all of the category, these categories and more. Plus, it is something that everyone at every age can easily start with whatever they are comfortable with, but continually improve. Uh, and he also says in there, by themselves, they can dr drastically improve our health and well-being, and together the, they only amplify one another's benefits. He's talking about diet and exercise. I think about it this way. Imagine the human body is a car. We feed our car with gas and oil to provide the nutrients it requires to work. If you, the gas you put in your car is poor, contaminated, or watered down, then the car will not run as effectively, although it can still run. The same thing could be said about the oil. Now, all that is great, but if the car is never turned on and driven, then it will start to slowly but surely break down. If the gas and oil are not the best, but we are still taking the car out for a ride, it can still continue to work. If the car is driven a healthy amount and provided the best materials needed to run, you're more likely to enjoy that vehicle for much longer with a whole lot less issues. Uh, I mean, that really, really says it all. Um, and again, this is a good article. And what I would tell people, take this article, read it over, and if you have older people in your life that you care about, and they're not lifting weights and you can't convince them of it, show them this. I mean, this is coming out of Forbes, guys. Uh, I mean, Forbes is definitely <laughs> one of the better publications out there for just improving your overall life. And, and all, yeah, it's usually finance related and other stuff. But again, it, it is about quality of life. Um, and it is geared towards people who, who want to improve their overall quality of life and self-improvement rather than purely an entertainment piece. And I mean, this is the reality of it. W what's being said in, in this article is the truth. This is what I've been saying. This is what uh, like the starting strength people have been saying. Everyone's been saying serious resistance training, strength training, not just going to the gym, not doing whatever, not being active, not exercising, but actual strength training. The health benefits of it are, are no longer bro science. They're not speculative. The evidence that it impacts all of these various conditions is so overwhelming at this point uh, that you would be a fool to ignore it, right? The evidence is so overwhelming that you would be a fool to ignore the existing evidence. That's how strong it is because we have hundreds of studies now looking at this stuff. And I mean, it's, it's everything from cancers to osteoporosis to blood pressure to even Alzheimer's and dementia. The strength of your legs is correlated with lower Alzheimer's rates and better memory past the age of 60. In other words, some th things like barbell squats, big exercises like that, that train your legs and your whole body and your, your core and your, your trunk and your spine, these exercises stave off everything from cancer to Alzheimer's, these diseases that absolutely ravage us in old age. I mean, this is quite frankly, the closest thing we have found to a fountain of youth. And it would be foolish to ignore it. 
All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.